The Roman Empire, a force that shaped the ancient world, was known for its relentless expansion. Driven by ambition, wealth, and a thirst for glory, Roman legions marched across continents. They conquered vast territories, from the British Isles to the borders of Persia. This insatiable appetite for conquest led them to cast their eyes upon a new prize, Arabia. Arabia Felix, a land shrouded in mystery and allure, held a powerful sway over the Roman imagination. Incense, a precious commodity in the ancient world, flowed from its borders, perfuming Roman temples and homes. Frankincense and myrrh, prized for their fragrance and religious significance, were highly sought after in Rome. These aromatic resins, harvested from trees that thrived in the Arabian climate, were more valuable than gold. Beyond its fragrant treasures, Arabia Felix held strategic importance. It sat astride vital trade routes connecting the Roman world with India and beyond. Control of these routes promised immense wealth and influence. Roman merchants, eager to secure a share of the lucrative spice trade, braved treacherous journeys to Arabian shores. The allure of wealth, coupled with the strategic significance of Arabia Felix, made it a prize too tempting for the Romans to ignore. Augustus, the first Roman emperor, was a shrewd strategist and a visionary leader. He inherited a vast empire, still reeling from years of civil war. Augustus, determined to consolidate his power and secure Rome's borders, turned his attention eastward. He envisioned an empire that stretched to the edges of the known world, encompassing the riches of Arabia. Augustus understood the strategic and economic importance of Arabia Felix. He craved control of the lucrative incense trade and sought to eliminate threats to Roman interests in the region. Arabian tribes, known for their fierce independence and mastery of desert warfare, posed a constant challenge to Roman authority. Augustus believed that conquering Arabia would not only bring immense wealth, but also secure Roman dominance in the east. In 25 BC, Augustus entrusted one of his most trusted generals, Gaius Gallus, with a daring mission, the conquest of Arabia. Gallus, a seasoned military commander, set out with a formidable force of Roman legionaries, confident in their ability to overcome any obstacle. However, the Arabian desert, a vast and unforgiving expanse, would prove to be their undoing. The Roman army, accustomed to fighting in the temperate climates of Europe, faced a formidable enemy in the Arabian desert. The scorching sun, relentless heat and lack of water took a heavy toll on the Roman soldiers. Their heavy armor and equipment designed for conventional warfare became a burden in the desert heat. To make matters worse, Gallus relying on faulty intelligence led his army astray, further weakening their already precarious position. Section 5. Trajan's Triumph, a foothold in Arabia. Emperor Trajan, known for his military prowess, sought to succeed where Augustus had failed. In AD 106, Trajan launched a campaign into northern Arabia. Unlike Gallus's ill-fated expedition, Trajan's campaign was a resounding success. He adapted his tactics to the challenges of desert warfare. Using light infantry and cavalry units better suited to the terrain, Trajan secured his supply lines with forts and garrisons. His efforts culminated in the annexation of the Nabataean Kingdom. Trajan's victory secured a foothold for Rome in Arabia. Section 6. The Arabian Sun, a formidable enemy. The Roman Empire, a military powerhouse of the ancient world, had conquered vast territories and subdued countless foes. However, in Arabia, they faced an enemy unlike any they had encountered before, the desert itself. The Arabian Sun, a relentless and unforgiving force, proved to be a formidable adversary to the Roman legions. The scorching heat and lack of water took a heavy toll on the Roman soldiers, who were accustomed to the more temperate climates of Europe. Their heavy armor and equipment, designed for conventional warfare, became a burden in the desert heat. Dehydration, heat stroke, and exhaustion weakened the Roman ranks making them vulnerable to attacks from the highly mobile Arabian tribes. The desert, with its harsh conditions and unforgiving nature, became a battleground 
where the Romans faced a constant struggle for survival. Section 7. Unconquerable Warriors. The Resistance of Arabian Tribes. The Arabian tribes, fiercely independent and masters of desert warfare, presented a formidable obstacle to Roman ambitions. These nomadic warriors, accustomed to the harsh desert environment, were skilled horsemen and archers. They knew the treacherous terrain like the backs of their hands, using it to their advantage against the heavily armed Roman legions. The Arabian tribes employed guerrilla tactics, launching hit-and-run attacks on Roman patrols and supply lines. Their mobility, combined with their knowledge of the desert, made them elusive enemies. They would strike swiftly and disappear into the vast expanse, leaving the Romans frustrated and vulnerable. The Romans, accustomed to fighting in open battles, struggled to adapt to the Arabian tribes' unconventional warfare. The tribes' unwavering resistance, fueled by their determination to protect their homeland and way of life, proved to be a significant factor in thwarting Roman ambitions in Arabia. Section 8. Shifting Sands of Power, The Rise of Palmyra As the Roman Empire grappled with its Arabian ambitions, a new power emerged in the region, Palmyra. This ancient city, strategically located on an oasis along the Silk Road, grew wealthy from trade between the Roman Empire and the East. Palmyra's prosperity and strategic importance did not go unnoticed by the Romans. Initially, Palmyra enjoyed a symbiotic relationship with Rome, serving as a vital trading partner and a buffer state against Persian influence. However, as Roman power in the region waned, Palmyra asserted its independence. Under the leadership of the ambitious Queen Zenobia, Palmyra challenged Roman authority, carving out its own empire that encompassed much of the eastern Roman provinces. The rise of Palmyra, a testament to the shifting sands of power in the region, further complicated Roman efforts to control Arabia. Section 9. The Final Curtain Rome's Retreat from Arabia The Roman Empire, once an unstoppable force, found itself stretched thin by the 3rd century AD. Internal strife, economic instability, and constant pressure from barbarian tribes on its borders forced the Romans to reassess their priorities. Arabia, with its limited resources and constant resistance from local tribes, no longer held the same allure. The Romans, facing more pressing concerns elsewhere, gradually withdrew their forces from Arabia. Their grand ambitions of conquering the entire peninsula and controlling its lucrative trade routes faded into the annals of history. The Arabian Desert, once a symbol of Roman ambition, became a testament to the limits of imperial power. The Romans retreated, leaving behind a legacy of fragmented control and unfulfilled aspirations. Section 10. The Rise of a New Power, the Dawn of the Islamic Caliphates. As the Roman Empire receded from Arabia, a new force emerged from the desert sands Islam. The Prophet Muhammad's teachings, emphasizing unity, faith, and social justice, resonated deeply with the Arabian tribes. Inspired by a new faith, the once disparate tribes united under the banner of Islam. The rise of the Islamic Caliphates in the 7th century AD marked a turning point in Arabian history. Driven by religious zeal and a thirst for expansion, the Muslim armies swept across North Africa and the Middle East, conquering vast territories that were once part of the Roman Empire. The Caliphates established a new political and social order in the region, supplanting the remnants of Roman influence. Arabia, once a distant frontier of the Roman Empire, became the heartland of a new and powerful civilization. Why Arabia Remained Unconquered The Roman Empire, despite its military might, failed to conquer Arabia. The harsh desert environment and fierce resistance of local tribes were major factors. The unforgiving desert, with its heat and lack of water, was a formidable enemy. Arabian tribes, masters of desert warfare, constantly challenged Roman authority. Their guerrilla tactics and land knowledge were significant obstacles. The rise of Palmyra and the Islamic Caliphates further complicated Roman ambitions. The Roman Empire's failure to conquer Arabia shows the limits of imperial power. 